What's going on, my fellow cringe fantasy LARPers? You know, there's nothing more in this world that triggers a normie than telling them that you believe in Thor. Worse than saying you're a Christian or Muslim, any Abrahamic faith, just tell them you believe in Thor and just look at the expression and the wide-eyed disbelief. And this really triggers people who believe in things like soyance. Oh, nothing created everything. And we believe in these theories that are constantly changing and being updated, but yet they're 100% truth, guys. The studies told me. Or, you know, it upsets Christians and Abrahamic enjoyers, right? Well, you can't believe in this because, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have any basis in history and, and reality. Well, why? Why does believing in a guy who lived 2,000 years ago in the Middle East and he rose from the dead, why is that so less far-fetched than believing a ginger with a hammer who kills ice giants? Like, what is so out there about that? Okay. I can relate to Thor. He's angry. He has a hammer that he smashes people with. That's something I can relate to. I don't relate to nothingness and atheism and watching Seinfeld and eating slop and being just nihilistic and shallow. And I don't align with being a Christian. And I never have. I was brought up in a wasp household and I was taken to Sunday school and I would leave because my blood memory told me you have to leave now. <laughs> okay. And you're going to say uh, this is irrational and not logical and silly, but you know what? I don't care because I'm not a rationalist. I am an anti-intellectual and I'm over this type of needing to figure everything out mentally. Okay. I'm a highly instinctual person. My analysis on this channel is highly instinctual. It's not intellectual. It's never been intellectual. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I, I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek, okay? I'm a proud, fantasy, LARPing geek, and I believe in gnomes and Gandalf. And if you have a problem with that, fine. But don't think that I'm going to change. I know Christians come in here, and they comment, you need the Lord, you need the scripture. That will save you from the bugs and the eating the slop. It's like, you know what? Just do you... And I'll do me. I know if you guys had it your way. And when Christian nationalism takes hold. They're just going to burn me at the stake anyway. Right? So it's okay. Just burn me at the stake. <laughs> and you don't pretend like you're going to be my friend. When you guys. Uh, I don't know if you, Christian nationalism will ever actually gain power. But. Okay, and then on the other hand, there's the real LARP pagans who don't actually believe in anything, who just have a Neoplatonic stance on paganism and think it's just allegories and archetypes and just advice, basically. <laughs> and I, you know, var against placenta cult. It's not what I want for my... I don't want just a, like an aesthetically pleasing form of atheism that these people want. I want something that's going to get me out of bed and going to make me want to do, you know, a couple presses on the bench press and train and then go for a hike and breathe some fresh 
ionic air and not live in a little pod. It's not an allegory. It's real. Why can't it be real? Okay. If, just hear me out, guys. <laughs> all right. I'm going hard. Just, just hear me out. All right. I'm going to, I'll, I'll ease into it now. All right. All right. Look, the science talks about multiverse, that the universe is infinite and possibly there's infinite universes, right? Okay. So if everything is infinite and there's infinite universes, why can't there be an Asgard universe? Why? Of course there is. So me being a mortal and mortals having free will, what I want to do is energetically align with Asgard, right? And not energetically align with Noah Yuval and Klaus Schwab. Okay, so I'm not going to slip into their reality because I have will and power over my life and destiny as much as they want to tell you that you don't. And some of you tell me that everything's already controlled. There's no point anyway, which is not true. So I'm going to ascend to 5D in Asgard. <laughs> All right. I'm not trying to be pedantic here. I have to slip in some humor with it because it, you know, to a, uh, a slop enjoyer, it's not going to be very appealing. But, you know, a lot of you guys aren't slop enjoyers, so you already know where I'm coming from here. So, yeah. I'm going to energetically align myself with that vibration and ascend it to 5G Asgard, right? Where I can be reborn and fight all day and drink meat all day and chill with my bros all day and my ancestors. And if you guys want to align with Seinfeld and Slop, then that's what you'll be reborn in. You can be reborn in New York City and live that lifestyle. Have fun with that. Okay? That's not who I am. And I don't care for that type of vibe. But the, the, the Neoplatonic LARP pagans are just telling you, hey, like, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's all fake, bro. It's just, it's just archetypes and nothing's actually real anyway. So look, what, why would anyone care then? What's the point of being a pagan if it's all LARP and archetypes? There's no deeper meaning. You guys are still atheists, all right? At the bottom, at the end of the day. You're anti-metaphysical. You don't believe in metaphysics. You don't believe in another realm. Okay? Just accept it. You're a nihilist. Who cares what you do? You don't have to drape it with hammers and swords if that's what you are. There's no point. There's no point. Just do what you've all said. Play video games and do drugs until you die and move on with your life. Right? My life has meaning because I believe in meaning. I believe there is more to life than dead matter. If you believe in nothing but dead matter, you are dead matter. You are dead matter. You are an NPC. That is the whole point of this channel to differentiate. <laughs> to differentiate between us, people who are real and believe that things matter in this realm, and people who are NPCs who don't believe in anything and are just golems who are made out of matter because their minds are matter and they don't believe in anything other than that. I know that Well, Brynor, everything, everyone has a soul. Everyone matters. Everyone's equal. I don't believe in that. Where does it say that I have to believe that? 
that's a very uh, Abrahamic concept, a universalist concept. I don't believe everyone has free will. I don't believe everyone has a soul. I don't believe everyone's a player character. Look, I know this upsets some people when I say that, and they jump from me saying that to mean, okay, I get comments sometimes saying, you saying NPCs exist equals you want to genocide them and put them in camps. Whoa. That's where your mind's taking it, bud. I didn't go anywhere near that, okay? That doesn't have anything to do with what I'm saying with NPCs. It's so crazy how people can just take what you say and just run it to the end line of death camp. <laughs> no, okay, yeah. I think some people are NPC. They're just dead matter. It doesn't mean I want to kill them. I'm so okay, like, get over it. Get over it. I interact with these people. Some of these people are, you know, in my life, and I'm friendly with them. But, you know, we're not the same. I operate on a completely different level than they do. And the people who I have deep connections with operate on a completely different level than that. And if you understand what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying when it comes to operating at a higher level. And there's nothing more that needs to be said about that. We know who we are and we talk and we're in a literally, we are in a different dimension than what quote unquote normies are in. And it's fine. If that's their destiny, or if that's what their will has manifested for them, or if they don't have a will because they don't actually really exist, <laughs> then it's fine. It is whatever. We will send to 5G Asgard, and they will send to New York City, and live in the brick wall with the exposed brick and the hustle and the bustle of the city. And you know what? Maybe they love it. Maybe they want to wallow in the slop. Did anyone ever consider that? That there are people out there who love this. Look at the Google, not the Google, the Apple glasses. Okay. I know I'm going on tangent here, but it's fundamentally against what everything I would believe in terms of metaphysics and being in an augmented digital reality. People are eating it up. That's not the world I'm trying to live in, okay? I don't want to live in that world. I want to live in 5G Asgard. So I'm going to go there in, you know, a couple decades when I die. And hopefully my descendants can come there with me. And that's the whole point is to continue on that energetic line and bring as many of those people with you as you can to the next dimension. Look, if this sounds too out there for you, that's fine. But at least I believe in something. At least I've thought about the universe and life and where I'm going. And I'm not just trying to bullshit you with slop all day, like everybody else is, and tell you nothing matters and just... Do whatever you want and there's no point. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to think that there's no point in this reality. You get up every day and there's order in the universe. Can you not see that? Okay. You get up. Look, this one guy tried to tell me, well, what is, what is in the world that, that, there's, that there's a law? There's no laws in the world. There's no laws. Dude, you need air to breathe. That is a law. The law of air breathing in as a human is not going to change chaotically overnight. You need food. You need water. Okay? There's a day. There's a night. There's you, you age progressively forward. You don't age backwards. You don't age sideways. You have limbs, and the limbs remain unless are taken from you, unfortunately. But there's laws. It's not just... You're not just a ball of tentacles that are just... <laughs> shape-shifting constantly. I, I don't know how else to point this out to people. <laughs> what was that one 
quote, uh, vegan gains, um, agreed to, who was it? That one, that, that guy, the funny guys on cocaine all the time. Anyway, he was like, if you throw Hamlet in an infinite amount of times with paint, if you try to write out Hamlet by throwing paint at a chalkboard an infinite, um, infinite amount of times, how many times or is it possible to do that? If it's chaotic. And he said, it is possible. And then he laughed at him. <laughs> yeah. So, right? We're at war with nihilism. We're at war with the NPC hive mind. We get up every day and we try to make meaning. Not Jordan Peterson meaning of tucking yourself into bed and brushing your teeth and being a good little boy for society because that's just cheap, watered down nonsense. Okay. It goes way deeper than brushing your teeth and making your bed and being a good boy for society while your daughter's phone out to hang out with Andrew Tate. Okay? Um, anyway, so what we need to do is we need to realize and accept that it's okay for us. Look, if you believe in Amon Ra, that is fucking great. That's great. If you're, if you are um, a Zoroastrian, that's amazing. That's such a rich heritage to have. You actually believe in something. Great. Even the Abrahamic people who, there's nothing more that triggers an Abrahamic person than a pagan, but whatever. Look, they actually believe in something, okay? They believe it. But you guys, the, the atheists of the world and the too cool for schools, right? These people who are too freaking cool to believe in anything at all because they're just that cool, guys. You know who I'm talking about. They're so cool that just believing is just... Why would you believe? That's cringe, bro. You're, you're cringe. You believe in things. You know, you should just drink Bud Light and smoke cigarettes all day and be unemployed and be a complete fucking loser for the rest of your life, bro. And, you know, these people, they're pathetic. And I don't want anything to do with that. It's just, it's a really sad state of existence. And you know what? If you believe in things, like cool things actually happen to you in life. There's been so much craziness in my life. And part of it is like really difficult. Part of it's really amazing. Part of it's a challenge. But at least there's stuff happening in my life constantly <laughs> and it's awesome and I feel alive and it's because I believe in things and I attract people in my life who also believe in things and that is what makes I think my life not as mundane as a lot of people who I know who just kind of seem to be going in this like rhythm of get up go to work go home, play video games type of deal that they've been doing since they were 14 over and over and over again. And maybe you guys who believe can relate, you know, even people in my discord, we have, we have synchron like synchronicities just with our chats, with what we're doing and what people are saying. I'll say something, Hey, I just did that. Or I'm doing something and someone will send me like a meme that's directly related to what I'm doing at that very moment. Okay. Oh, it's just a coincidence. No, it's not. It's something deeper. You can't explain away everything. You'll never be able to explain away meaning away from me because there's just so many layers of meaning and things that have happened to me in my life that there's just no 
freaking way that it's all just a bunch of random atoms just bumping into each other. We're just atoms. We're just atoms. No. <laughs> Sorry for that. I apologize. Um, yeah, and, and when these people... Here's the real thing. Like, these people, these nihilists, like... They can come into your life and you have to be extremely careful when you, they do because they can like, because they don't have meaning. If you try to make meaning happen with them, it will hurt you. It will damage you. It will waste your time. You will feel empty when you're with them because they are also empty and you don't want that in your life because their emptiness is endless. It's emptiness upon emptiness upon emptiness. They will just, they will rationalize everything away and they will be a energetic downturn in your life. And you just have to avoid that like the plague. Okay. Avoid nihilists. Do not let them in your life. And there are nihilists out there who will mirror you. They will mirror your beliefs. They will tell you what you want to hear. They don't actually mean it. And you, it, they can be very, very skilled at pretending like they believe what you believe because maybe they want something from you. Okay, so you have to look out for that because it will cause you a lot of strife and you'll waste a lot of time and it'll just be a lot that you don't want in your life. You need to avoid these people. I've cut these people out of my life, man. Like people who are really close to me, you know, and then when you find out that they just don't actually believe in anything. It's kind of like, wow, okay, so I'm just like, I'm just like a flesh suit to you. I'm just a flesh monkey, like, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nihilist, man, they're, they're the worst. It's, it, it, they, are, they are the worst thing, I think. <laughs> Bro, Nietzsche was a nihilist. <laughs> no. No, he was not. Look, nihilists don't believe in it. Nietzsche wanted the resubstantiation of all values, uh, which meant inverting the Christian value system into something else, which would mean there would still be a hierarchy of values, which means he's not a nihilist because there's values. Okay? Debunked. He's not a nihilist. All right. So... Let me know what dimension of 5D you are going to be ascending to in the comments. Are you going to Asgard? Are you going to the other world? Are you going to chill with Amon Ra? Okay. Maybe you are Palladian. I don't know. I don't care what you are as long as it's something and it's not just draped atheism all right i really appreciate all the people who have been subscribing lately and commenting it's actually really engaged me back more into the channel and given me hope that there's people out there who can handle unorthodox ideas and not just run away from it and go play some video instead so if you liked the cringe fantasy LARP rant, please give me a like, give me a sub, and let me know where you're sending to. All right. Have a good one. Bye.